Uh, welcome to this edition of Coach's Corner. I'm here, Nicholas Roca, with uh, head football coach, uh, Coach Stewart. Uh, tough loss on Friday against Seminole Ridge. Um, really, the offense started off strong with Mario's uh, first touchdown, but it seemed like through the next three quarters, they couldn't keep it going. W what happened there? Well, there was a bunch of different reasons. Uh, we did start off strong, which we were very happy with, um, but it seemed like after that point, it was always one thing or another that kept us from, uh, from moving the ball and scoring whether it was a missed block or a penalty, um, a couple of key third downs. We had some short yardage. We couldn't pick it up. They blitzed into it, and we didn't miss an assignment. So it was various things that uh, caused us not to score again. What about the defense? The defense was looking great through the first three quarters. They, they, were, they didn't allow any points. And in the, the, the fourth quarter, they allowed the two touchdowns to give them uh, the victory. But um, was it the offense not clicking that seemed like it translated to the defense? Or was exactly. It? That's exactly right. The offense was uh, not on the field long enough. We usually run on offense about 60 plays in a game. We only ran 40. Oh. So what happened, we had a lot of three and outs. Um, where we, you know, so the defense had to go on the field too long, and they just got worn out. Um, you know, had a couple of punts that were not great, and that, that turn field position around gave them some very short fields to work with. and. Uh, that didn't help. So, uh, but the defense played. I thought played very well. Um, just got worn out there at the end. They need to find a way to get that energy to, to, to finish off. Even when the offense is struggling, though, they got to finish it. But overall, they played well enough to win. And you're saying uh, a few missed blocks was the was the line the, the offensive line then uh, uh, struggling throughout the game. Yeah, the line struggled. Um, you know, we missed some blocks with the running backs and wing backs too. It wasn't only the line. Um, you know, it was. Uh, the combination of <laughs> everybody and it seemed you know in football it's the ultimate team game you know 11 guys have to do their job if one guy misses a block you know if his, his guy can make the tackle and really blow things up and that that happens seem to be happening over and over again yes so yeah. uh, what, are we, what are we doing differently this week to prepare to see if we could get that first victory okay well first part of your question Gulliver uh, it's a big rivalry no doubt um, we haven't played them in two years it just didn't work out schedule wise but we've played them since 2001 we played them ten times uh, we didn't play in 2007 or 8, but we played every other year since, and uh, you know, we've won 10 in a row. We've won it 10 years in a row, so or 10 out of the last 14 years. So uh, that, and um, so the kids know that, and it's a big rivalry f uh, from that aspect. And the streak, and the alumni want that streak to continue. So <laughs> 10, 10 wins in a row over them. Um, as far as uh, the second part of your question, what are we going to do differently? Uh, we we are going to shake the lineup up a little bit. We've uh, we've uh, brought some guys over from defense to play offense and see how they do. Uh, challenge the offensive guys a little bit to play better, and um, you know, we're not necessarily going to replace them, but maybe you know, just shake them up a little bit, see if they perform better, bring them over there to push them. And um, you know, defensively, we have a tall order; they throw the ball pretty well, so we got to play well on defense uh, in the secondary. And offensively, we just got to you know, we just got to sustain drives and finish. You know, we haven't finished this year. You know, last two games, you know, against Palmetto, we did a lot better, and we got to get back to that. Yeah. Well, thank you, Coach Stewart, uh, for coming. My pleasure. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be uh, next week, next Monday, for Coach's Corner. Just uh, tune in, and thank you. Have a good rest of the week.